What is the margin of appreciation? That's the topic of today's video. Today, I'm going to talk about the margin of appreciation in the context of the European Convention on Human Rights. States which have ratified the European Convention on Human Rights are obliged to secure the rights which are enshrined in the Convention to people within their jurisdiction. The European Court of Human Rights is mandated to control whether they meet this obligation. When the Court assesses whether a state has complied with its obligations under the ECHR, it grants the state a margin of appreciation. This means that states have a certain discretion when implementing the ECHR. There is not only one approach when it comes to ensuring the rights under the Convention. Different solutions may be compliant with the ECHR. The European Court of Human Rights has developed the concept of the margin of appreciation in Handyside versus the United Kingdom. The case concerned a book, the publication of which was forbidden because the British authorities considered it pornographic or obscene. The publisher of the book submitted an application to the European Court of Human Rights, in which he said, prohibiting the publication of or distribution of my book violates the right to freedom of expression under Article 10 of the ECHR. Article 10 ECHR guarantees freedom of expression, but it also says that freedom of expression may be limited if that's necessary in the interest of morals. Therefore, one of the main questions in the proceeding was whether the prohibition of the book was necessary in the interest of morals. And obviously, the problem was that, it's, that there can be very different opinions on what morals are or what is necessary in the interest of morals. And in that regard, the European Court of Human Rights said, in principle, the authorities and judges in a given state are better placed than we are to assess what is in the interest of morals in that state, because they are much closer to society in that state, to its culture and so on. Therefore, states must have a certain discretion to say, we think in our society this and that is necessary in the interest of morals. And the European Court of Human Rights will respect that in principle and will respect that there may be different views of morals in different societies. Therefore, states have a margin of appreciation. However, the European Court of Human Rights also said that this does not mean that states can do whatever they want, because in that case, the guarantees of the European Convention on Human Rights would be pointless. So, the European Court of Human Rights says that the margin of appreciation goes hand in hand with supervision on the European level. The European Court of Human Rights grants a margin of appreciation, but it checks whether states have overstepped this margin of appreciation when implementing the ECHR. The margin of appreciation plays a role in different contexts. One important area are cases in which different rights under the Convention have to be balanced against each other. For example, there are frequently cases concerning publications in the media before the European Court of Human Rights. The typical constellation is that the, that the journalist publishes an article concerning a person and that person says this article violates my right to private life under Article 8 of the ECHR. And the journalists or the publishing house say this publication is protected by freedom of expression under Article 10 of the ECHR. So there's a conflict between two rights which are protected under the ECHR. The two rights have to be balanced against each other. In these cases, the European Court of Human Rights says states enjoy a margin of appreciation when balancing the rights. Another area where the margin of appreciation frequently plays a role is the assessment of whether an interference with a right is necessary in a democratic society. I have already mentioned one example. Some rights under the Convention may be limited subject to certain conditions. Examples are the right to private life, freedom of conscience and religion, freedom of expression or freedom of assembly. In these cases, Interferences are permitted if they are, among other things, necessary in a democratic society. The European Court of Human Rights grants states a margin of appreciation when it comes to assessing which interferences are necessary. The margin of appreciation may be big or small. If it is small, the court will scrutinize the measures taken by the state more closely. 
If the margin of appreciation is big or small depends on several factors. One is the right which is in question. When it comes to certain rights, states enjoy a bigger margin of appreciation. For example, states usually a large margin of appreciation in cases regarding the right to property pursuant to Article 1 of Protocol 1 to the ECHR. In contrast to that, the margin of appreciation is usually small in cases involving the right to life or the prohibition of torture because these rights are considered so essential. Another factor that the court takes into consideration is whether or not there is a European consensus regarding the question to be decided. If there is a far-reaching consensus, the margin of appreciation enjoyed by the state will be smaller. So, if the majority of contracting states of the ECHR resolves a matter in a certain way, other states have a small margin of appreciation to deviate from that. If, on the other hand, there are very different practices regarding a question throughout Europe, the court will grant member states a larger margin of appreciation. An example is the case Dubska and Kresova versus the Czech Republic. It concerned a regulation in the Czech Republic which made it practically impossible to women to deliver their child at home. Two women went to the European Court of Human Rights and said, this violates our rights to private life. We have a right to home birth. The court said that there are different practices in that regard throughout Europe and that the Czech Republic therefore enjoyed a wide margin of appreciation when it comes to regulating this issue. The concept of the margin of appreciation is judgment. The European Court of Human Rights has developed it in its jurisprudence. However, Protocol 15 to the SHR, which entered into force in August 2021, amended Article 1 of the Convention. Now it expressly states that states enjoy a margin of appreciation when implementing the ECHR.